Welcome to this ValueMed presentation video of the AT Hemoglobin HB meter. This is a handheld digital device, CE mark for professional in vitro diagnostic use, allowing the rapid detection and measurement of hemoglobin and hematocrit in a variety of samples, including capillary blood samples. Now supplied in the box pack that you get when you purchase the meter is the haemoglobin test meter user manual which is nice and easy to follow, well written. The digital meter which is this device here, the AT haemoglobin. Battery compartment is on the rear here, it takes three AAA batteries, we'll show you the setup in a moment. You get a pack containing 10 haemoglobin test strips. You also get two control test strips for doing optical tests of the meter should you choose to do so. Some transfer pipettes to uh, measure the right volume of blood when you uh, add the samples to the test strips. Uh, a little pack of alcohol wipes. You also get some lancets. The lancing device, which is a spring-loaded lancet device, will demonstrate in just a minute. And you get three AAA batteries. So what we're going to show you in the first section is setup of the meter with programming the time, date, and the uh, display range. So you've got three ranges you can pick and it's important that you set the meter to display the uh, range you are going to recognize and be familiar with uh, before you start testing. Well, let's first take you through inserting the batteries and setting the meter up. Battery compartment is accessed on the rear. You've got some nice guidance in the base of the battery compartment on the alignment for the batteries. Let's fit these three triple A's which are supplied with the meter. Then the battery compartment lid can be replaced. Now, if you turn it over, you can see on here that we've already got the year showing in the display. It's automatically gone through into the setup reading. Using the two side buttons, you can change the date and year. You can see that going 26, 27. I'm going to take it down with the down button to 25. Now press the power button. It'll move to month and day. Now we're in February, so I'm going to use the down button to go to 2. Press the power button to move to the next setting. And we're on the 5th of February, so again I'm going to use the down button to select the day as the 5th. There we go, press the power button again, and you now go to hour and minute. So to reduce the hour to 11 o'clock, and the minutes to 11.45. And when you've finished doing that, if we press the power button again, the meter should go blank. Before performing your first test, the meter requires the code chip to be inserted. Power the meter up by pressing the power button and it should automatically request for the code by giving you these three bars. Insert the code chip for the test strip supplied into the top port on the meter here. There is a alignment front and rear for that. Once inserted, the meter will display the correct code for the code chip and strips you're about to use. And also this flashing arrow here indicates it's ready for a test strip to be inserted into the meter for your first test. Now before you perform your first test, we recommend that you set the scale at which the meter will display. Now to do this, press and hold the power button until it displays set. You'll see down here the display is saying set number. You want to navigate this through that check for check strip, through to set without the number, and then press the power button again. It will go through settings the year, month, day, hour, and minute. And then the number settings, you want that on, press again, and you get to the display range. You'll see this is in grams per deciliter. We can go to grams per litre, millimoles per litre, we're going to actually make sure and choose grams per deciliter for our display. Press the power button again, it will give you the option to have the beeps on or off. 
and EIT is exit, so we'll exit that menu. We are now ready to perform the first test. Now, when you're ready to perform your first test, place a lancet in the lancing device and have it on setting six, which is the deepest. Pull back on the trigger to set the spring. This is the release mechanism. You'll hear that trigger and release the lance when you're ready to prick your finger. Power up the button on the meter and insert a test strip. The test strip goes with the optical round port downwards and it has some arrows indicating how it should be inserted into the device. The device is now ready for the blood sample to be added. When you've washed your hands thoroughly in warm soapy water, massage them gently in a downward fashion such to increase the perfusion further. And when you're ready to do the lance, brace the finger slightly underneath, apply the lancing device to the side of the finger and release the trigger. This should cause the finger lance to occur. You'll see a little droplet of blood just forming there. I'm just going to wipe away that first droplet. Now drop the hands to the side of your uh, waist, just below the hip level, and this should encourage the blood to form nicely on the lanced finger. This should occur naturally without you having to massage the finger if the lance has been successful. Now very gently squeeze the tip of the pipette, introduce the transfer pipette into the sample and fill that narrow section with blood sample, then transfer it onto the test strip pad. The meter will recognize it's been triggered and in 15 seconds it should give me my haemoglobin level, 14.3 grams per deciliter with a hematocrit of 42%. This will now be recorded in the device's memory. The meter can now be powered down and the test strip removed and disposed of safely. So I hope you found this demonstration of how to run the AT haemoglobin meter useful. Do ensure that you get good quality lances and samples into the pad on the test strip every time and by doing so you can ensure good quality accurate haemoglobin readings. Thank you.